<laughs> Jones Barbecue Foot Massage! Jones Barbecue Foot Have you not seen that? Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage! Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage! <laughs> but this was one of the people I don't know what they did behind me. I've just seen the camera in my love. We're in Nottingham at Red's Barbecue. Do you know why? Because some of you've been commenting saying it's one of the best barbecue places you've been to. So we're here to see if it's really that good and if it rivals American barbecue. This place is definitely one to remember. It's industrial, it just feels like a garage. There's like shutters, there's neon lights and signs everywhere, there's graffiti, there's even tires underneath like the countertops. And it just feels quirky, but still comfortable. But now that the boring part's out of the way, let me tell you about the food. Now what we've ordered firstly is the frickles, which is deep fried battered pickle spears served with dirty sauce. Now I don't know what dirty sauce is, but I'm about to get dirty today. Next, we've got mac and cheese balls. Mac and cheese, but in a bowl. Four deep fried balls of mac and cheese and a crunchy nacho coating served with a pickle dipper. Gonna be interesting. All the sauces sound quirky so far. Next, we've got the broccoli Carolina, and that is charcoal broccoli pickled in North Carolina barbecue. That just sounds so wild. I don't even know what that's gonna taste like. And for the mains, we've got the brisket. If you guys didn't know, I watch a lot of barbecue programs. Near enough, every time I eat, I'm watching some sort of a meat show or barbecue. And I've got high expectations for this place because it's been open for a few years and they're dedicated to giving you that authentic American barbecue. Even says it on the menu, it says authentic American true barbecue. And I just dropped my phone and I probably cracked it and I'm smiling, but deep down I'm burning. <laughs> it's not been a great day. Not been a great day. Next, we've got the beef burnt ends. If you guys don't know what burnt ends are, they basically get a part of the brisket, they cut it into cubes, then they sauce it up, they barbecue it again, and they serve it, that is. And I've had barbecue in America, so I've got something to actually compare it to. And finally, we've got the donut burger. That's double beef patty, smoked bacon, cheese, crispy onion, dirty sauce, again with the dirty sauce, all between two glazed ring donuts. Now, obviously, we're removing the smoked bacon. Oh, I didn't even know. It says, ask your server to make me veggie. So if you're a vegetarian and you don't eat meat, they've got a ton of vegan and vegetarian options. So make sure you have no excuse not to come here. Every time we do these shots, I always, I'm like raring to go to eat the food. This was honestly one of the hardest waits, but this was one of the people, I don't know what they did behind me. I've just seen the camera in my love. But this was honestly one of the hardest waits because when I saw it, I'm just, ah, yeah, juices are flowing. I just need to start. But I'm going to go for the broccoli Carolina and just look at the juice. Pickled, apparently. I always like to smell the food. And surprisingly, this smells very barbecue. -y. You don't expect broccoli to smell barbecue, but Wow. Oh. Oh. Imagine broccoli smoked like it's a piece of meat, slathered. Slathered a word? Slathered in some zingy barbecue sauce. That's probably the best version of a broccoli I've ever had. If you don't like broccoli, have this because I think it will change your mind about broccoli. Okay, next, from one pickle to another, I'm gonna go for the frickles. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. And let me tell you something, the coating, the crispiness, I don't even have to crunch it. I know it's gonna be super crispy. Oh, oh my God, hold on. I'm hoping you guys can hear that. Wow, I did not expect those flavors. Slightly sweet, zingy, but that batter, crunchy, sweet and savory biscuit wrapped around that pickle. And actually, that just works, that works. Get that as a side. And I know for a fact now, these mac and cheese balls are gonna be just as good. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Whoa, whoa. Oh my God, whoa. Oh my God, wow. This mac and cheese ball, the crispy shell on the outside, that's a whole different story. They've got the batter on these things perfect, but the inside, cheesy, oozy, flavorsome, soft. Not just your normal soft. Oh, the flavors, man. That's amazing. Okay, obviously I'm not even gonna tell you about the fries. Fries are great, good fries, good fries. This burger, as you guys can see, is starting to give up on life because it is so soft, so it has no integrity right now. Falling apart, got the crispy onions on top, double patty. Here we go. Still on my face. 
Okay. Cameraman was gesturing, sunny face. Listen, that burger can live on my face. It doesn't mean you need to pay rent. That burger can stay forever. The burger patties, you can taste the fire. Great quality meat, crispy onions, and that donut. I don't know who's making that donut, but why? Sweet. It just goes so well with the savory burger. And everything around it. Hello, can. Ooh, match made in heaven, I'm telling you. This place is getting me excited. I'm getting giddy. Oh, I want to really want to go back at that burger and finish it. But I know cameraman's going to cry, shed a tear. So, next I'm going to go for the brisket. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at it. I'm not even putting any pressure. And it's just falling apart. Oh, look at the smoke ring, the color, the fat. It's just rendered out perfectly. I need to stop talking because I need to put this in my mouth straight away. <laughs> Whoever makes perfume, come and smell this and make it, bottle it, because I will wear this. Oh my God. Whoa! Oh. I don't even know what to say because that meat has got everything you want. It's got a flavor, it's got a crust, it's got a fattiness, it's got a seasoning. And you know what? When I say seasoning, it's probably just salt and black pepper, but oh my God, words are not gonna do that piece of meat justice. You're just gonna have to come and taste it. And I'm gonna go in again, I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry, but I cannot resist. Just, you can't, your fork can't even attach to it. That's how soft it is. Oh my days. And listen, they've got a large selection of sauces. So if you want hot sauce, if you want Kansas City barbecue sauce, South Carolina barbecue, North Carolina barbecue, Judas ketchup, if you want any of those sauces to add a little bit more flavor, you can. But let me tell you right now, you don't even need sauce. It's that good quality of food. It's cooked to perfection and it's just gonna make your soul. Let me try the burnt ends before I tell you my final thoughts. And again, oh my God, look at the glaze. Look how soft that is. I've got to be careful how I ha oh, oh. I've got to be careful how I handle it, but oh, I know this is going to be just as good as the brisket. Came from the same cup. Normally I'd be swearing. In real life, I'd be kicking off right now. Now that burnt end is from the same brisket, but the glaze, the extra cooking and the extra crispiness that you get on there and the sauce that's smothered in just takes it to a new level and it becomes a completely different dish it's mind-blowing i'm telling you now get what i've got today i mean they've got so much choice that you're probably going to be spoiled for choice but this place is phenomenal came out today to try and see if uk does just as good of a barbecue as usa and i say hands down yes they've got the same pits they've got the same cuts of meat They've got the same techniques and they've got the same flavors. What else could you ask for? Great quality meat, amazingly constructed dishes. And oh my God, I'm gonna have to go for that donut burger again while you guys leave me to it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Come on, keep licking his lips. I'm gonna let me eat, guys, I'm gonna let me eat. Hell yeah. yeah. Bro, this place bangs, bangs, bangs. Unfortunately, guys, that's it for another episode of Buff Lunch. What was I gonna say? <laughs> I'm very, very reluctant to leave this place because I just wanna sit here and enjoy all the barbecue. But if you guys haven't tried British barbecue yet and you're thinking, it's not gonna be as good as the Americans. Listen, come and try it, come in. Let me know what you guys think. And if there's another barbecue restaurant you guys want us to visit that's got just as good of food as here, or it's even better, let us know. And we'll try and get there too. And we'll see you next time.